begin with our own head church mother, Mother Jessie Mae Dandridge, representing Greater New Bible Way. And then we also want, amen, uh, her own uh, sister, amen, like a sister, Sister Joanne Savage, if you would prepare to come right behind her. Amen. <laughs> I'm 
and shelter for a little while because I moved to Mississippi. And David worked down there. But every now and then I would call and check on him. But you know what? We've been sisters more than biological sisters. We call each other in the middle of the night and encourage one another. Who knew we were going to be widows at the same time? Only God knew. And then he put us together close that we could be encouragement to each other. I thank God for you, Leon. You've been there for me. Through the thick and the thin. You've been there for me. And I thank and praise the Lord for you. I can tell the truth. If something's not right, I can don't say that. We need to pray. And that's what we do. And do you know? God answers all our prayers. You all pray for this woman. And I pray for her. I love her dear. She knows I do. She can get whatever from me. And I feel the same for her. Pray for me. God, such fond memories, amen. Mother, did I call you Jesse Lee Dandridge? No, no, you did right, All right, all right. Somebody told me I may have said the wrong thing, amen. Amen. I got some help up here today. They won't come to the mic, amen. As a dear friend, amen, missionary Rosie Marks, and uh, I looked up to her, Lady Jacina Sweat, amen. If you all would prepare to come, amen. Has anybody else? 
get two of my members to shout. Sunshine Band, Sister Jocelyn Broadway, 
amen, even one of her sisters, amen, Sister Vanessa Parker, and children, amen, and even one of my, amen, co-sunshine and Sister Sandra's daughter, Sister Lakeisha, and now we're co-workers, amen, amen, so we thank God for them. Come on, give them, turn them, amen, amen, legacy, come on. My God, this is history, y'all. you 
Mother Rogers. I love you. You play such a big part in my family, in, in, in the Gillum family. And I just thank and praise God for you and your family. God bless you. Amen. Do y'all mind just allowing us a few more minutes? Amen. God bless every one of you. Every one of you. Thank God for you. Thank God for this opportunity to come and share your 80th birthday, Mother Rogers. God bless you. We love you. Well, as you know, I am Elder Rogers' favorite student. <laughs> right? I, I've been there. I mean, I, I've been out of school forever and a day, but I promise you. I promise you. But, but in doing that, in saying that, I thank God for you because this man, other than my father, changed the trajectory of my life. I don't know where I was or what I was doing, but I tell you what, nobody could carry his book bag but me. <laughs> and he could pop popcorn like nobody else. And the day he brought your cake, that I, I, you know what, I'm a chef to this day, I love to cook. And, and I just, I, I can taste it right now. But I thank God. But the thing that blessed me even the more was the day you walked in that classroom, so glorious and beautiful, with my Dennis and my June. And I might be telling my age, but it's all good. <laughs> but we thank God for the Rogers family. We thank God for you all coming into the Turner family, changing our lives. And I just wanted to share a... Um, just a um, prayer that befits you, that I see you as. Love for others is the title of it. All right. It says, Lord, save us from being self-centered in our prayers. And teach us to remember to pray for others. May we be so bound up in love with those for whom we pray that we may feel their needs as acutely as our own and intercede for them with sensitivity and with understanding and with imagination. And we know you to be a woman of great sensitivity. A woman that has put others before herself many a time. Amen. And we honor you for that. Even when I was going away from Arkansas, you always prayed for me. You lifted me up. You always gave me love on Facebook. But we love you and so glad to see you doing well enjoying your children, enjoying your grandchildren, and Thad and, and, and Dennis and all of you, we're so excited to be here. God bless you all, and I'm going to tag for now. He's me. 
sing some of that verse, but I'm going to leave that alone, amen. My God, my God, my God. Just to see. I'm about to get in trouble with my own brother because I'm about to start crying like he. Amen. But I think of them, amen. She was talking about uh, the popcorn and the other things, but I smell chicken, amen. I don't know. Because, see, let me, let me tell y'all something. Because every, after every service, somebody was at our house. It could be Sunday morning, Sunday evening, Thursday night. 10, 30, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and they were eating right at our house, having fellowship, amen, and we would just be as little children hanging halfway up the stairs because we stayed in the split level and looking up the stairs saying, Lord, we want some of that chicken. <laughs> and daddy would be saying, y'all go to bed, and then mama would be saying, she'll come down there, y'all just wait a second, I'm going to get y'all something, and I'm going to put it right here. To look back on, but when you live the holy life, when you live the God-fearing life, when you put others before yourself, I just want to tell you that this is the promise of God. This is the inheritance that God promised His people. Amen. You can buy this. You can buy. It was 
a wonderful opportunity. And down through the years, after, I don't know, I lost contact with you, I don't remember, and it could have been because we were in first jurisdiction and you were under Superintendent Dade, I don't know, in second jurisdiction. And when we came to the second jurisdiction, that's when we reconnected. And I just thank God for you and for the life you've lived. I thank God for your children. I thank God for this ministry. I, I think back on when um, Superintendent Rogers had the church that I think one of the sisters uh, mentioned. It was over across, yeah, was that 18th Street? Yeah, by the railroad, yeah, by the railroad track. I remember uh, when we went and we visited you there. And I remember even when you all moved into that other church, the one that burned, how across the street. I remember how God favored the ministry and how God favored you and Pastor Rogers, Superintendent Rogers, and blessed you with this beautiful edifice and all that was in it. And I think back on how God has had his hand upon your life and, and the ministry. And I also think back, and I won't be long. I know we only have three minutes. I think, I think about uh, you as being a cook. And uh, I think on the times at the convocation yeah. where you all would prepare food yeah. and you would bring food to the congregation to feed the saints. And I thank you that you all would remember Pastor Watkins and me and would invite us to the room after the service so we could have a little something to eat. And I, I thought how unselfish, how loving and kind. Thank you so much, Mother. And, and then I think about those wonderful cakes that you baked and how you uh, would bake cakes for the women's convention when we would have the dinners. Yes. Uh, and, and you know we didn't have a dinner this year because of COVID. But I thank you for that. And I just want you to know that we thank God for you and we love you and congratulations. And we pray that God will bless you with many, many happy returns, many more years of life in good health. God bless you.
Brother Rogers and Pastor Rogers, they love to entertain. Yes. They yes. love to entertain. We had great musicals at New Cali. He would invite all the major choirs on Little Rock. And God, if you go to his house, it would be always be somebody there. God, after two years or so or more, Mother Rogers working with her husband in the music department, Ella Rogers was assigned to a, a church in Warren, Arkansas. A uh, hundred miles away, I think. I know it was a challenge for Mother Rogers and her young family, but they persevered. Yeah. Mother Rogers has that one important element of life that helps us to deal with things in the best possible way. She achieves the best results that a person can seek. That takes into account all the possibilities, age and wisdom. God, Mother Rogers, may God continue to bless you. And may the best days of your past be the worst days of your future. Mother, happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday. Celebration. I want to walk up on this thing. Sometime many years ago, there was a revival on 95 in North Little Rock. The Elder Dewey Hill was running a revival. And I got saved in that tent revival. And God sent two disciples. One name was Elder Rochester Roger Sr. And one name was the late T.R. Quick. They came and grabbed my hand and come and said, Come and come to New Calvary. So we'll keep you over there. And I came to New Calvary. And that's where I met Sister Rogers. That's when I met her, when I came to New Cary, a long time ago. I'm going to tell you that in a minute, a long time ago. And as we, as I grew in grace, and they, we raised our children together, we had an Easter speech one time. I'm going to tell this on the pastor. And uh, here, you know how the kids have the Easter speeches, and they come up, and he brought the dentist up to say his Easter speech. And when he got up, looked up, saw all the people looking, he put his coat over his head and said, <laughs> said, 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 said his Easter speech. But I've been knowing Sister Rogers. I've been knowing Sister Rogers for 80 years. 80, 55 years. 55 years we've been here. That long. And God bless Sister Rogers. She's been the same Rogers. Leona Rogers. For all those years that I know her. God bless you and God bless your family. Thank you. That's pure gold right there. That's pure, thank you, Deacon, Deacon Ray. We'll talk later, amen, on more of those, amen, antics that you may have witnessed, amen, that I've only heard about. Now I got an eyewitness, amen. Well, God, I don't know if you told everything. Amen, amen. This is this is wonderful. You can't you can't buy this stuff. Amen. Uh, we want to hear also from the Military Heights days. Amen. Yes. Sister Dewana Lindsay. Amen. The daughter, amen, of our own Bishop Donnie L. Lindsay, who's still with us at 90 what? 98 years old. Listen, sharp as a tack. And here's my uh, description of Bishop Lindsay. I say you would not even want to sit across the table and try to do business with him because he's still that sharp. Yes. It would be hard for you to outwit him. Man, it's brilliant. Amen. Good afternoon. 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 Mother Rogers has always been considered a jewel. She's always been a role model in the neighborhood, a quiet soul that was never a busybody or a mean mama. She was active in her children's lives and very supportive of her husband's ministry. 
Her house was always open to those that needed a place to stay. I recently had the opportunity to experience her delicious 7 up pound cake. And it's always an honor and a pleasure to see her warm and beautiful smile. Sister Rogers always represented herself in a saintly manner in our neighborhood. On behalf of the military heights community, we want to give you your flowers, this golden flower, while you can enjoy it. Happy birthday. Amen. Those two gentlemen, amen, that were, amen. Let's say amen again for Sister Lauren Hager. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. At this time, we want to hear from, amen, my mom's two nephews. And you know what? I'm going to extend even to her niece because she's come so far. Amen. So we want, amen, amen. Sister Janice Buford, uh, Mr. Glennis Buford, and uh, Reverend Stanley Buford, amen, to please come forward. Come on, Janice. Y'all let Janice go first. Don't put that pressure on. Come on, Janice. She gonna go first. Now these are all sisters and brothers. Amen. Amen. She loves her tea. Come on. Just one more day. 
because he was busy with the congregation, which I understand. So uh, I am happy for my aunt. The Bible says you, it's given unto man. Three score and ten, four if you're reasonably healthy. So now you're going into the, the gravy area. You, you're extending that. I'm glad to see that. But I can honestly say, I'm going to say just one more thing. Boy, I'm going to go to Psalms. And this goes for y'all new pastor from the old pastor. The first, is our first division of Psalms declared, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree which is planted by a river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his seed. And these also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so. But are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the Lord. church standing at the graveside amen amen thank god for you all amen y'all don't really understand the closeness of this this particular unit of family amen amen so we just thank god for everybody that's here amen amen sister beatrice amen brother jonathan amen sister Shannon, amen just everybody amen matter of fact all of our family if you would please stand one more time come on my children, grandchildren, husbands, family, wives, amen. Mom, we all here to just tell you we love you, we love you, we love you. Amen. You, amen. You are just, you mean more to us than what you'll ever know. Amen. And Pastor got up and said earlier that we're praying for 100 years. I've been saying it now since 2017. Amen. Since, um, you know, God bless our family to increase. talk, but it's one thing to walk. A lot of y'all know the scripture, you can quote it, but can you really walk faith out? Oh, a lot of people can squall it, but I, listen, I wonder sometimes. Amen. And I know the decisions that, that you have to make when you can't call somebody and say, what should I do? And if I do, are you going to be there? It's, it was no, none of that. It was step on out, uh, live or die. I mean, you just got to make that step. And I asked God, I said, well, Lord, you, you took dad and we, we still hanging with you. 
but I'm asking for 100 for her right there. I said, she's been allowed to see everybody else's children get grown. Now that we make this move for you, I need for mine to see her. I need for her to see them get grown. Because what she has in her, we would never be able to put that into them. And I read a statement the other day, when an old man, it said when an old man dies, that a library burns to the ground. But I'm gonna say when a woman dies, when a grandmother dies, amen, five libraries burn to the ground. Five bakeries burn to the ground. 10 restaurants burn to the ground. 25 hospitals burn to the ground. And you know what? Our God is so good. And listen, I've already told God, if he don't do it, I'm still going to serve him anyway. I'm still going to run on anyway. We still going to preach holiness if it ain't nobody else living holy. Amen. That's just what we're going to do. Amen. Amen. I've done all I can do because I'm, I've tried to clear the way for this last gentleman that's coming. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Sometimes God don't give you your children early in life. Amen. Like us, we were married 20 years now. We're going on 25, going on 26, excuse me. And we got little babies. Amen. Amen. And such is the case for my mother them. After a uh, pastor for probably near 25 years, a good 25, I'm going to say, the Lord sent them another son. Many sons, many members of a family. Amen. And this last gentleman I'm going to call, amen. Amen. I want him to talk, and I want him to sing. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. We, we, this program would not be complete without one of the great sons of this church. Yes. Amen. A song of tribute is what he's down for, but I'm telling you, I want to hear you too. Yes. Do it in whatever area you want to do it. Yes. Amen. Superintendent Eddie Miller, let's hear from him. Amen. God for each of you to my first lady. That's all I ever call is my first lady. I know she have a lot of people, but that's my first lady. And I was just telling Pastor Rogers on you that, that I came here over 30 years ago as a young man not knowing anything, but she took up the time to help me and always encouraged me. And I would tell him now, when God first called me to preach, she would always tell me, Ella Miller, you my preacher. And I told him, I said, I knew I couldn't preach. I knew that. But she always made me feel like, Pastor Sweat, that I had it going on. And I want you to know the thing that, and, and Sister Sweat, I, I thank you for the words you said, because she, she told my wife, she said, don't ever allow church to come before your children. That's the one thing I always admired about her. Church never, ever took the place of her children. And I saw it in her, and I praise God for her. Because she was such a powerful, awesome example of a real woman of God. Amen? And I tell her today that she is my first lady. And when, when God allowed me to establish a church in Jacksonville, I, I, we, we had something going on. I never expected to see her walk in the door. But the moment she walked in the door, I said, I must be doing pretty good now. Because my first lady is here. And she's here to make things right for me. And come on, y'all, let's praise God for this first lady. Because there's not many like her. But as I look at her, I can tell you one thing, that God is still good to her. And can't you look at her and tell she's been blessed? And the thing about the God we serve, he don't have to get your opinion or your permission to bless her. And all I can say today is God has been good to my first lady. But when I look at her, amen, it gives me joy just to look at her. And I think about what God has brought her through. Things are always big like it is now. But when I look at her, I get joy on the inside. Because God is so good to her. God is good to her. And I want her to know today, I love you, first lady. If there's ever, I, I just came off the road from uh, Ohio a few seconds, not long ago, but I told Pastor Roy, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I wouldn't miss it for the world. And I had to be here. I had to be here for this great day. Y'all did an awesome job today. Awesome job. Awesome job. I salute you all for everything you've done. Amen. There's, there's so much that the Lord has done for me.
y'all just watch me, follow me. I would not be ungrateful after all, after all the Lord had done. He gave me a little more courage.
invitation, amen. We're going to ask Sister Deborah Rose to come, amen. Amen, amen. With a shower of love, amen, amen. Amen, amen. And then we're getting ready to, amen, go to our final segment, amen. Let's say amen for Sister Rose for being here. God is such a good God. And so very worthy to be praised. Now, when Jill sent the invite, she said, Mama wants you to be one of her special gifts. I said, sure, I'm going to be there. Well, the thing of it is, I wanted to make sure I was here by the way of my husband. Because about six weeks ago, I had a stroke. But God is a yeah. And so uh, I told him, I said, I need to go and do birthday celebration with Mother Rogers. Now, I thought it was just going to be over there in the fellowship area. And so I see that it is a full blown But on the way here, I. Uh, I'm thinking back, and I've been knowing the Rogers family some 58 years. 58 years. Now, Johnson, I beg to differ with you. You said that you were uh -oh. Reverend Rogers. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I know Deborah Faye Little was his very own. bringing him a sandwich every day. <laughs> Yesterday, 
every chance that we meet. Now, I don't see her often, but the thoughts still remain. Her family is more like family. The love's just the same. So today you're surrounded by your family and friends. Happy 80th birthday, Mother Rogers. I'll say that again. And wishing her well an awesome thing for today. I just had to come back to say what I say. <laughs> Come on, let's hear it for the survivor. Took the road, thing, man. Listen, this program would not be complete. You've, you've heard from a lot of people in here. There's yet one that remains, and this person will take us kind of on out. Amen. As we look around, all the relatives, all the people, amen, that were here, we tried to get people in, but it just wouldn't be right, amen, if my own dear sister, Sister June, who thought she was going to sit down, who, who had blow, blown our phones up, preparing for this, who was away ministering this morning, and I already know about the Holy Ghost move over there, where you was, amen. Amen. She didn't want to say nothing, but she's coming to raise this offering, amen, or to, to, to offer us a chance. It's not an offering, but it's a chance for us to share. Amen. Let me say this. You may not have been able to say something on the mic, but amen, you got an opportunity here to speak, amen, loud and clear. Amen. Amen. Come on, my dear sweet sister. Come on. Come on. I know you didn't, but it wouldn't be right, amen, if you didn't say something. Let's say amen for sister, missionary, mother, district evangelist, amen, June, Joseph, amen. Let's say amen. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I promise I did not want to talk. I just want to sit back and soak it up. I promise. Millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. Millions didn't make it, but you were one of the ones who did. Millions didn't make it, but we were one of the ones who did. And as a result, what is your I made it? Praise the Lord. What is your I still here? Praise the Lord. What is your I did give up? Praise the Lord.
this to everybody for coming. Look at this auspicious looking audience trying to use some of my dad's big words. Look at this delightful, amen, outstanding audience. Thank you, thank you. We love you. We love you. When the word went out, all we got was support. I'll be there. It's long overdue. It's time. Let's give God a hand praise. Thank you. I always pray for her. I grew up without a mom. My mother left me at 12 years old. 
And as a Lord of our and be a mother, I want to be the best mother I can be. Because all my friends and mothers were yeah. treating me good. They, just, they were just good and loving to me. And I just thank the Lord for that. Another time, 2000, and two years ago, I was on another car accident. Got sped around the street. But two young men were leaving work. And I had the green light, but I eased out. And that did, and they hit me and spent me around again, and I called Dennis screaming and hollering. I've been in accidents, so Dennis came to the scene, and it just I just thank the Lord, you know. I've been through some ups and I've been through some downs, but I'm still standing. I thank the Lord. God is in control, a church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. 